Hi there, Christy Howell here, your manager of membership. And I was asked to give a little bit of background information uh, to you guys about the upcoming leadership development track that's coming up this Saturday. It's from nine to noon. It's in the Junior League basement. And I wanna make sure that you guys have the historical knowledge so that you understand uh, what a big deal this event is, how much hard work has gone into planning for it and what you will get out of it. So this is the presentation that I made to the board of the Junior League and we got a lot of support and encouragement and I wanna make sure that uh, you understand more about the event as well so that you can support, encourage and attend. So, background uh we had a mentor mentee relationship and i'm so excited when i learn about the ideas that come out of these mentor relationships these conversations and it's even more exciting when we can put uh, your ideas in motion so our mentor mentee shared that in their conversation uh, the mentor is a sustainer and she shared that, you know, junior league members have really a historical reputation for being very well trained and uh, the way that they conduct themselves professionally and in the nonprofit world in meetings. Um, people just understand uh, the sort of quality leader that junior league members are junior league members are because of the training they've received through the league. In fact, it's a huge part of our mission. If you look, it says right here to develop the potential of women and improve the community through the effective action and leadership of trained volunteers. So we identified a need and that was to provide really in-depth trainings for our current league members. Every year we conduct a membership survey and consistently in those surveys, members say that leadership development isn't one of the top three reasons they join the league, but it's consistently one of the top three reasons that members stay in the league. We recognize that leadership development is truly uh, a great member benefit. Um, and so we want to continue providing that at the highest level possible. Now, I know that we have gone to a no slash low obligation membership model. And so in order to uh, encourage you to uh, attend these trainings it used to be it was an obligation you had to attend a certain amount of training every year well now it, it's up to you and so we recognize that uh, to encourage you to attend a training we want it to be a super high quality event uh, we're going to provide sought after speakers and we're going to provide recognition of completion of these trainings so Education and Development Committee sat down with the management team and we wanted to identify what does it mean to be a well-trained volunteer? Sort of if, if we were going to pick out the pieces that you would fit together uh, to build this well-trained volunteer, what, what puzzle pieces would be included? And we decided we needed leadership development in four categories. Uh, number one, nonprofit leadership development. We are a nonprofit and we want people to understand the nonprofit world uh, when they say that they have been trained by the junior league. Number two, civic leadership development. Number three, diversity and inclusion leadership development. And number four, professional leadership development. So uh, once somebody has completed all four of these leadership development tracks, we feel like the result will be a junior league of Springfield member who has been well-trained, with an in-depth understanding of each of these four focuses and someone who is ready to put it into practice to better our community. Focusing first on that number one leadership development track, nonprofit leadership development. We are holding this this Saturday, November 6th from nine to noon. Please, please attend. Education and Development has worked so hard to put together a really high quality event for us. The workshop is going to include three different classes, the 411 on 501c3s, parliamentary procedure, and a panel, what I wish I'd known before joining a board. Also, we are requesting that everyone who participates in nonprofit leadership development attend a Junior League of Springfield board meeting in person. 
So the 411 on 501c3s, before you can contribute to the leadership of a 501c3, you really need to understand the internal workings of nonprofits. So how they operate, how are they sustained, what makes them thrive. This course is going to have a heavy concentration on financial statements. So we're going to knock it out first thing while you're well caffeinated. Uh, did I mention that there is going to be brunch and coffee at this event? Uh, Missy Gellner, who is a sustaining member of the league, is going to be leading this class. And she's also the executive director of the Askinosi Foundation and the chief kinship officer for Askinosi Chocolate. Next, we're moving on to parliamentary procedure. How are you going to run a meeting? How are you going to conduct yourself in a meeting? We want you to feel comfortable not only attending a meeting that's being run by Robert's Rules of Orders, but you're going to walk away comfortable with leading uh, a meeting. So this is going to be really valuable, made even more valuable by the fact that Judge Jennifer Grocock is going to be leading this workshop. Thank you, thank you um, to Judge Grocock for your time. And then in the third hour of our day, we're gonna be uh, enjoying a panel. Uh, Education Development recruited some really special speakers for this one, and they were very thoughtful when they were um, sourcing their speakers because they wanted to get different perspectives. So they didn't wanna just have um, board members from a nonprofit. They have um, Emily Denniston, she's the Vice President of Public Affairs at the Chamber of Commerce. Our very own Laura Farmer, Executive Director of CASA. Um, and, and she's going to bring a great perspective of what she needs from board members uh, to, to fulfill um, a productive and successful board. Nicole Jarrett, who's the CEO and partner of Revel Advertising. And then Missy Gellner and Judge Grocock are hopefully going to be sticking around for this panel. Um, it's really going to be an eye-opening conversation. I think it's going to help up-and-coming change makers, that's you and me, understand what's expected of them as a board member, uh, what sort of time commitments there are, financial obligations, and much more. And like I said before, pursuing board membership, it's important to experience a board member, a, a board meeting for yourself. So you'll get to see our leader strategic planning for the longevity and big picture success of our league and the community. You'll also gain an understanding of the components of a productive board meeting and the way in which our thought leaders prepare and conduct themselves. So um, the dates and times and locations of all JLS board meetings are on Digital Cheetah on the calendar. And please RSVP before you plan to attend one of those. They are open to junior league members, uh, but we want them to be prepared and to welcome, be able to welcome you appropriately. So please RSVP before attending one of those board meetings. The Education and Development Committee is also going to provide additional training opportunities. We want you as a member to be able to jump into nonprofit leadership development as much as you want, as much as you're able. AJLI has an entire host of resources for this sort of training. And so Education Development is going to provide optional resources for you to further your training. And once you've completed the Saturday workshop and you have attended a junior league board meeting in person, you will earn a certificate of completion uh, endorsed by the Junior League of Springfield. You will be able to uh, include this on your resume, on your LinkedIn, in conversations at interviews, whether that's for a job, whether it's for promotion or it's for um, uh, you're being considered to join a board or a nonprofit here locally. So we are proud to be able to um, offer such a high quality training to earn our certificate of completion. And we're also going to be recognizing participating members at our annual meeting. So thank you in advance for uh, education development for putting on such a high quality event and, and getting such uh, impactful speakers to participate in this fantastic upcoming event. Uh, thank you to everyone that has um, given input into the long-term planning of these trainings. And thank you in advance to our members for attending. The last thing we wanna do is host these very special speakers and um, not show up for them. So thank you in advance for attending on Saturday for bringing your league friends to attend with you. It's from nine to noon. Please RSVP on Digital Cheetah so they can bring the right amount of brunch. And I will see you then. Thanks.